December 7th. Yes, um, the blue-eyed devil who has become the hazel-eyed devil. Yeah, those are better. Those are even better in the country. So, mom, dad, progeny. I don't know what's going to keep this puppy off of me. Maybe dad. Dad's not normally in here. So, he's going to serve as a distraction. This guy is big. I'm going to say he's 40 pounds. By looking at him, easy. And he's got a big old blocky head and he's got this crazy light eyes. I don't know if we can get him to hold still long enough to catch that. I haven't shot any video of this guy in the last month because I haven't been here. So I'm just kind of catching up with everybody today. Yeah. He does have an umbilical hernia. And it's a little bigger than most I've seen. So that probably ought to get taken care of at some point. Although I've seen dogs go all their lives and not have a problem. And I've also seen dogs die under anesthesia, so if it was me, I'd wait until I had another reason to knock him out. Okay, all right. Now, how am I going to get away from you guys? Go see Daddy. There's not a lot of independence in this trio. Actually, there's zero. No Congo dog. When I give people the short version, which I often have to do because they don't read the website to get the long version, I tell them, think of the Congo as the, as the sort of difference in basic temperament. Because the Borbul, the Dogo, and the Dane, although they have significant differences, all very much the same in terms of how they relate to their owners. The owner is the center of the universe. They are needy. They are sticky. Um, although nothing quite as sticky as a pure bull. Dogos and Danes are actually pretty sticky. Dogos are very needy. Um, anyway, so when there's zero Congo, there's zero independence. If there's half Congo, there's half independence. As far as my dogs go, best way to understand them. Country's got to see what's been going on in this pen. He hasn't been in here. Anytime you put a dog in a new place, they go get all the information about what's been going on in there with their noses. So this pup is available. Yeah, yeah, you are available. Can I see those eyes? Yeah, he's got these green hazel eyes now. They were blue. And he is 50% Borbo, 25% Dogo, 25% Dan. He is gonna look a lot like this dog here. This dog's 150 pounds. Um, it's sort of deceptive um, because he moves well and he's light on his feet but that's how much he weighs <laughs> honestly how much he weighs which makes him like 175 breeder pounds because most breeders in case you don't know are full of shit uh, especially if they sell big dogs then they exaggerate they're full of shit across the board generally I, I don't really like to to claim dog breeder, when people ask me what I do, I'll say almost anything um, other than that, because yeah, it's a sundry lot of humans as a general rule. There's exceptions, but any dumbass can put a couple dogs in the same place, and that's really all you need to do to be a breeder. <clears throat> hey, look at those eyes. God damn, keep your dirty little paws off me, though. Can we see your eyes? Can we see your eyes? <laughs> He's got a nice head on him. Hell yes. Alright. That's... Oh, you 
You're so happy to see me. You're so happy I'm back. Yeah, you don't want her to get the love. Oh, see, he jumps, but he keeps his feet down. He knows better than to put his feet on me. You know that's no good. What do you think, Yeso? Yeah, good girl. Yeah, I think I'll just leave these three in here for a bit. <laughs>